Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of my tutorial on fashion clutch bag. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button to get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thank you very much and God bless. So guys, um, this is um, the body, the, the back, the front and the bottom and this is our flap. We're going to join our flap to the body, back of the bag and we're going to remove a 0.5 out of the um, back where we have our flap. So uh, we're, we're going to uh, gum our flap there then later sew it. So what we are doing right now is we are bringing out 0 0.5, 0 0.5 inch. So, guys, so this is it here. We've wrapped it. So it's going to be like this. Now this is uh, our inner, so the inner we are going to remove the 0 0.1 away from the, um, the previous uh, measurements, that's from this one, we have to remove 0 0.1 from the flap, 0 0.1 from this one, 0 0.1 from the bottom and all that. So now this is the first body and the first body is um, from this one, from this first body, it is um, three and a half point one. So the zero point one we have to take it away. So we'll make it three and a half. This is um, two, but now we we'll remove one. So the measurement for the bottom now is uh, one one point eight inches. That's for the bottom. One point eight inches. So uh, this one also is going to be three and a half inches, while the flap is going to be um, five. Then so um, this flap here is five and a half. So this one is is going to be um, five point three inches. So now what we're going to do is to cut this out. Cut the flap out. Okay. So, guys, this is our um, um, the inner part which um, carries the keyboard. We've wrapped it already with our lining. So that is the keyboard that is going to be inside of. Um, our fiber our fiber um, that is being wrapped with the fabric so can you say that we've sold the back of the of the bag already it has been sold So guys, this is a um, keyboard. So the chip, the keyboard uh, measurement, the width is five and a half, uh, five point three. It's five point three. That and um, the length is two, two point three inches. I repeat the uh, the width of our pocket. This is pocket here. Is three point uh, five point three inches. Why the length is two point three inches? So this is our pocket. The pocket is going to stay here. Will be here. So we're going to sew the pocket here. Can you see it? And we have our gusset. This is our gusset here. It has been shaped out. So the length for this pocket is 3.2 inches or 3.3 inches why the width 
is like 3.2 um, inches after shaping it then we get three inches so guys this is our pocket our pocket is already wrapped with our lining pocket is already wrapped with the lining and this is the material for our gusset now this is the chibo that we're going to place on the on the fabric and we have our lining so can you see the pocket of our lining the pocket is already fixed to the keyboard and make sure uh, your pocket is at the center of the um, lining so it's 2.2 um, for the width 2.2 in both sizes Can you see the sewing straight and neat? Now we're going to um, attach our chain holder to the lining and the measurement is one inch. So the one inch has to be in both sides. Guys, we want to put um, um, our rivet to the to the keyboard. The rivet, that is the rivet. And now we will put our um, chain holder. We're going to put it there. So the rivet is going to stand at the middle of the rivet, of the chain holder, and that is the um, rivet um, cover. So now we're going to use our armor to heat it hard to make sure that um, the older actually key to the um, to the rivet. So when you're doing this, you need to be careful. Make sure you edit well. So guys, can you see it? This is um this is our lining, keyboard and uh, fabric. So what we're going to do is we're going to gum the keyboard to the fabric so you apply your gum first and you gum it so this is our um, um, that is our magnet so now we want to we want to put our magnet to our chipboard so the measurement is 4.8 each in um, the both side so now if you're doing that you need to make sure that your um your magnet is at the middle of the bag so now we're going to use our armor to heat it to make sure that it's key to the um to our keyboard so it doesn't pull off later so can you see her lining can you see um the magnet so now what we are doing is to sew our gusset we need to sew our gusset um, all round and if you're sewing the both side and um, the bottom side you need to leave an allowance which is um which is a 0 0.5 allowance that you're going to Put your gum and you know take it inside of the bag 
so you need to make sure that 0.5 allowance is left inside where um, we don't have chipboard there those are the parts that you're going to put inside of the bag can you see you need to be careful while you're sewing it So now we're cutting the excess out. The excess material, we need to cut them out. Can you see that is our gusset? Now we want to apply gum to the two side of the um, of our chipboard. That is where our gusset is going to be sitting. So we need to apply gum to it and leave it to dry for some minutes before putting our gusset. So after we apply gum there, we're going to also apply gum to our gusset we're going to apply gum to our gusset and also to the bottom of the um, of our gusset then we're going to leave it for some minutes to get dry before we, you know we attach it to the chipboard to the main inner part the main reason we are you yeah, the main reason we always allow our drum our our gum to get dry is because we don't want our job to look messy we don't want it to look rough so if you need even if, if you actually want a neat job then when you apply your gum you have to wait for some time to dry so now can you see we've applied our gusset to the bag to the um to the bag now we're going to cut out the s's the s's parts the s's materials we have to you know trim it out can you see <clears throat> the inner bag is already you know looking good <laughs> yeah can you see it Guys, the next thing is to put our gum, which we've already put. We've put, we've put the gum round the outer part. We put the gum round the um, inner part. So now we we want to, you know, put them together by gumming it. And by doing so, you need to be extra. This is the time you have to be extra careful, so that you don't make any mistakes, so that your bag doesn't lose shape, so that your bag will still be. The shape you want so you need to be careful you need to make sure that it is well placed Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the notification button to get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thank you very much and God bless.